Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman, and, and uh, thank you for bringing us back into committee, uh, back into this room. It, it changes the complexion. Uh, the, the Aqua Act is indeed well intended. I understand that. But I still, uh, like the, the, the ranking member, uh, still have serious concerns with it. It removes the cost benefit requirement and small system variances from the Safe Drinking Water Act. I will be offering an amendment that, th to ensure these existing provisions uh, remain in law. The committee also examines the Water Assistance Program of 2021. Uh, this bill uh, created, will create at the EPA, and as the ranking uh, chairman, uh, ranking member, I guess chairman in waiting, uh, just said that this is uh, this is the first time, uh, and it establishes a government-assisted social program. And lastly, the committee will mar have a markup on bills on PFAS. As I explained last week, nearly a quarter of our members are new to the committee. Yet we haven't had a hearing on PFAS in two years, despite all of our requests for one before last week's markup. We, we need to understand that PFAS is indeed a class of over 9,000 different chemicals with varying properties and characteristics. And the science on PFAS has evolved since this committee last had a hearing. Yet this bill takes a non-scientific, one-size-fits-all approach to address the problem. And, and curiously, Mr. Chairman, it includes a unique exemption from liability for airports. Now, airports have been one of the biggest users of firefighting foam like PFO and PFOS. Uh, P PFOS. There, and, and, and yes, the FAA requires uh, airports to use it, and others like water utilities are also required by the federal, federal government to filter their water containing PFAS, but they didn't get an exemption. So obviously, this bill is trying to do airports a favor, but why not our water systems? Mr. Chairman, at, at the proper time, I'm curious, I'll be interested to learn your explanation of why this committee is favoring one group over another. And let's not forget that EPA that it has made significant progress in addressing PFAS since this bill, was, uh, since this bill passed the House last year, and Congress has, has already passed key part, bipartisan laws to address it. So, Mr. Chairman, let's, let's take the time to address the issue in a, in a more thoughtful manner, all these three bills, before they go to the floor. And I yield back the balance of my time. Thank you. I thank the gentleman.